So here's my extractor that I, that my business partner purchased overseas and I received it. I received it from the other day, but like me tell us I never want to open a box. You know, until I got reap honey. So today's the day I'm going to reap honey out of the every I need on the I need on for this. So you know, see I'm me alone, so if you see the video, I can go anywhere, just forgive me, it's me, me alone, it's me and the world at this particular moment, you know, so this is my machine, see, three frame, beekeeper, alright, so, I'm going to see where I'm going in the box, so soon forward. So, look at the box. Now I have to assemble it and everything. There is some parts for the foot, you know. And there is three parts for the foot, so it stays like, like this. So I'm going to assemble that. And I need to put on the handle, put on the honey gate and everything like that. So. So far, so good. Got a few little parts in here. Oh, you can see. Few little parts, few little bolts, and little screws, and little knobs. Try to put it together. So, excuse me. So far, what again? So, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what the honey extractor look like. And all you need is a small tool, pliers like this, to tighten these bolts. I put it. You see? Just tighten it. This one tight. Alright. So this is a, a three frame, you know, extractor and stuff like that. Only thing that I found that is wrong with this is basically I'm missing small nut uh yeah small nut that goes here small nut that goes here it's a small piece that goes here for the top i have the screw i have the screw and everything the screw is here check everything and i'm not finding it i find the other one but I'm not fine for this one but this is just a covering the boat supposed to go there so let's check everything out I have an extra I have an extra washer I'm gonna look I don't know what this is for I don't know what this is for but I'm still gonna keep it so so this will be the top of the cover the cover here you know and this one here will be the cover for this side. No? So, it going good. Let's see what I'm missing, what I'm missing. Now check, 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 check. Yep. Check, I'm missing a washer from here. So that's where the washer could go. Yeah, the washer goes here. So let me put on the washer for this. You know, so I'm in a two hand, right? I need two hands for this. Yeah, two hands. So let me get on the washer for that. So the washer is on for that. Oh, let's, let's do this. Okay. Stop giving me trouble to think something. There you go. Now just put on this. Give me a minute. We need two hands for this. So peeps, how do you do? So today I have some honey out of my apron. You know, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve trays. Um 
frames actually. So what happens basically, um, I'm going to draw some more maybe in uh, September, sometime around there, them just start filling up and as you can see, them just start seal this right here. So you can see them not seal all of that yet. So I'm going to take it where the honey was it and you can see a lot of honey is in there. And I have more trays down here. So let's get to the, the, um, the extractor and take out some, the extractor and take out some out, uh, out of it. Yeah? So give me a like and a share here. Yeah? Boom. Before I extract the honey, I'm going to scrape off some of the bees populus off of it. See? So that's bees populus right there. You know? So I'm going to put it in this little container right there. Make it stay there. Each frame. You know? Get off the bees populus that you wanted. All in this area right here. See it? In this area. See these populous? And then the ears of those. Clean them off. All right. There we go. All right. As you can see, it's still have one of you bees still there. Those are what you call robbers. All right. Let's go and go outside. See when get back. Okay, so as you can see, I just decap three of them and this is the wax that we have, right? So there's more. Um, there's only two frames in here, in the area, so I'm gonna cone off for them there. So I have some bees populous in this little container for you. So each tray that I get, uh, I try to scoop it off before I actually do the honey. So this year, you know, this is the wax that we can use to make candles, but we can also strain it and get some of the extra honey. So let's see what I'm going. Look at honey. Look at that, my friend. I thank you very, very much. We're gonna go in business, and this is business. This is the first time reaping honey, and you know, I can't reap honey by myself, so I have to have somebody there. And as time goes by, I think I'm gonna reap it again in September because there are a few trays that they were capped, so I'm just left it. And then we're there. And uh, they are beautiful, 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 beautiful tray. Let me use the. Alright, so here is one, one. So here's one. As you can see, them not fully cap it yet, but this one we'll just take out. So I'm not gonna put that in another way, you know, and deal with it. So, what are the peeps? I hope everything is alright. So, I'm using my extractor. I reaped some honey today. So, when you look down there, it's honey down there. So, I'm actually doing this in my kitchen. I just took a moment, you know. So, I'm going to harvest some good, good honey. I have my bucket down there. Alright. And this only what one, two, three, four frames that I use. So I'm gonna do like at least four more and then we drain the honey. So forward. So so peeps, I love this. Ah this frame right here. Look at it. It is lovely. Lovely. I'm gonna decap it. It probably weighs like a like almost a pound. Wow, all this honey right here, look at all of that, all of that, all of that. And as you can see, them don't really fill the cap yet, fill it yet. So as you see, them just start filling it, so we just have to just take this because it was so beautiful. And it's heavy. It is really, really heavy. All right, peeps. So I'm actually just cutting, decapping the caps of it. You know, so you, the honey can actually come out in the extractor. You know, you're just taking a knife and just cut off the top that is sealed. So all of this right here is just basically wax. That I could melt back later on and make foundation for them. So as you can see, the honey is actually coming up so who wants some 
I want some of this beautiful, beautiful, rich honey. You know, as you can see, this now have a lot of cap on this side, only this one and this one. So, I put it in the extractor. And as you can see, people, the honey is actually dripping. It's heavy. It's heavy. You know? So, the funny thing about bees is like they do some things. You know? Like this, huh? See this here? This is how one you know it. So, then, then cap the side up. So, I'm going to uncap this right here to get out the honey. All that, that honey. All that honey right here. All that. That's all honey, people. All honey. All 100% honey from my apron. So, soon be out in bottles with a different name, LNT, my business partner. See, so I'm just decapping it, taking all these caps so the honey can also be followed. I'm gonna use this back later on, set it overnight, let the honey drain off of it, and keep the wax so I could actually make my foundation for it. Huh? So, there you go, peeps. Honey's dripping in the kitchen. As you see, you see? See? So I'm in my extractor now. So I'm gonna just spin it. So I have my bucket here. So I'm open the honey gate and this bucket is very very much clean so there is the honey just pouring out the honey gate That's the honey the reason why I pour in this little bucket I have another big bucket that I'm gonna put the, the strainer over it and um, strain it later on so i'm just getting out what's in here now and i could tilt it a little bit you see a lot more honey coming out and you can see honey can come out this much faster see so that is the reason why i put it in this bucket because if I put the strainer over it, it's going to give me some problem right now. So I put it in this little bucket. Then I put the strainer over the big bucket. I'll show you guys the process later on. Because everybody do it differently. But this is how I do it. So, there you go. So this is what I did people. So I strain it already in a small bucket, but I have to strain it off in this here now. In this big bucket. So you get a better and smoother honey for the market. So as you can see, look in here. Can you see people? See how the honey different now than before? So that is where this mesh thing come on pretty handy right so let it go and get there i'll tell you you know say i was just checking up on the bees and see how they are developing and they are coming on well it's only what uh three of the um four bees i of the hive that i went in just four just because the other few are still coming up you know still doing them thing and it's 
not too late in the year to draw honey probably you could draw honey probably like two three times for the two three times for the year you could draw it say um the beginning of say february down to may because this is the end of may then you have like down to september again then you can also reap something in december it's, it all depends on how you like to reap it but it's the first time i'm reaping honey from my apron you understand so as we go along and go along people you're gonna see different 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 things isn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> 